What's interesting is that the Chinese authorities went out of their way to attract international media attention to this case. I think many people were thinking that he might be sentenced to death, and this is what we were also concerned about. But it was kind of surprising to see the retrial happen so quickly, and for the sentence to come out on the same day, that tends to be fairly rare in China. So all of this points to the fact that the government wants to probably send a tough message uh, both to the international community, but possibly also domestically. And so this, this messaging is also one reason um, that people should be concerned about this case. Amnesty International is concerned about the detention of Michael Kobrig and Michael Spavor, who were detained both in December. As far as we know, they don't have access to lawyers, and this is uh, a fundamental violation of their right to fair trial, because people should have the right to uh, legal access uh, to lawyers from the very beginning of their detention.